Hi folks, Margie Ann with Margie Ann Art. I'm gonna tell you more about this piece of art that I made, this beautiful crucifix, and how I made it. I think you're going to enjoy how it was made, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit of how I made it, and it's really pretty simple, and I think most people could make it. So what I did was, we got two boards, and can you see, we just use this brace here to brace it together. <clears throat> That's it. And then I just took copper uh, sheeting and put it on here and glued it on here. And then <clears throat> I just took different pieces of <clears throat> these uh, round things you get at uh, Hobby Lobby or any of these art places and stuff like that and just glued them on, but what else I did was I soldered on pieces of copper sheeting, and then I just cut them out there. Do you see that? Just cut it out, glued it on, and uh, there I had it. And then I had these beads with uh, a little tiny pearls around it, so I, I put that on there. And then I put little pearls on there, and I had these little uh, uh, goldy things that would hold the pearls and I would just take a uh, copper sheeting and put it around and to hold the pearl different size things and stuff like that and then I thought it should have a cross here you know because it's supposed to look like kind of a you know a Byzantine art I think that's how they used to do stuff like that and you know they had like different color things and how I made it was when I would put on a red one here, I would put on a red one here. It was real simple to keep the pattern going. And it was just a matter of just, you know, putting a lot of different fake jewels on there. And this piece of glass here, I'll show you what it started out like. See, it was this piece here. And see how it changed? And I just cut it round and held it together like I said I did with the copper sheeting and stuff like that, and then just put that fake pearl thing around here to give it that look, uh, the Byzantine art or something or other like that. And as you can see, again, I just repeated patterns. See, on both sides, I would just do the same thing. And that made it look, I think, uh, the right way that you would do art. And then like these little bubbles here that I put on, that is actually solder to make it look like little beads of uh, uh, gold or something or other like that. So that's what I did with that. So as you can see, it was pretty simple to make. It wasn't a hard piece to make. And again, I outlined things with these fake little beads and all this little stuff just to hold it together. And, that. and I think it does look like those antique jewels uh, the way they used to make jewelry and stuff like that. Nowadays, it's much more refined than how they used to do it in there, but it was lovely back then, too, the way they made their jewels in there. And how I got all of this gold on here is this stuff. This stuff works really good. I use it on a lot of different things. It works really good, and you get gold, you know? Even <laughs> nothing is gold on it, but it looks like gold. So anyway... That's how I made this piece, and I think it turned out lovely. I do think it looks like what I had in my mind to make. But then again, I want you folks, if you want to, to come back and see the other part of this piece of art. This is not just about beautiful jewelry. This is about crucifixions. So I will be putting that out, and I'll give you a choice if you want to see it or not the rest of the piece. I will be telling you why I made this piece and why it's so important to me and the history of what was going on with folks back then, uh, slavery and how horrible it was for people and that, and the true meaning of crucifixion. I will be showing that in uh, the later version of this piece, and I'll give you the choice if you want to see it or not, because it's very, very upsetting. It upset me to make it. I, I, I didn't like making it, but I thought it was something that needed to be made. But I wanted to give you the choice that if you wanted to just make pretty, uh, like a jewelry piece of uh, uh, crucifixion and stuff like that, that's okay too. And I 
showing you that part of it, but I will show you the real reason for crucifixion. Thanks.